What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more aha, uh -huh. and we continue our newfound journey through their uh, four studio album that is East of the Sun, West of the Moon. Um, again, I've been very excited to get to this just because I've heard a lot about it and the way it represents a, a notable transition uh, for the group into a different sound, into a different decade. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to go through the album. We're up to the second tune, and the second tune is called Early Morning. Um, you know, obviously it gives you both, um, it gives you a double uh, temporal reference in that we're talking morning, but we're also talking early morning. Now early morning could mean two things. Um, as someone who has long been a, a proverbial night owl, um, you know, sometimes called a, an insomniac, although I do sleep sometimes. And my, in my teenage days, I was like genuinely like on the edge of being an insomniac. Regardless, um, for someone like me who's a night owl, early morning to me means like when the sun is not yet risen, when we're talking two, three, four, or five in the morning. Um, you know, when I'm up working on the computer, just listening to music and doing all sorts of uh, shenanigans. Um, but early morning, I think for most people, would maybe mean, you know, that first hour when the sun is just coming up, the sort of magic hour when that kind of light, you know, just like first hour after sunrise, last hour before sunset, it has that kind of special visual quality. Um, <clears throat> I think for a lot of people, early morning would mean that, like when people are, you know, getting their coffee, going out to take an early morning walk just as the sun's coming over the horizon and so on. Um, for, I think for a lot of people, that's what early morning would mean. Although again, to me, it has slightly different connotations because of just the way that I have lived for many years, um, which I think goes back to me going to rave parties, but it wasn't just that. It was a number of things. Uh, nevertheless, um, it makes me think um, that it could be sort of a tonal atmosphere. It could, you know, maybe set the tone, which, again, maybe then early morning as light comes up and restores and rejuvenates the world, whether human or otherwise, or we could be referring to a sort of like, you know, what some people would call late night, uh, you know, three, four in the morning when, you know, things are quiet and there aren't a lot of people about and perhaps create creativity for some people swells higher. Um, so yeah, I wonder if it'll be sort of a sonic, like, tonal kind of painting, or um, if early morning will play some role in a narrative, and it'll end up being, you know, about when some crucial interaction or some crucial connection was made. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see, uh, but I'm very much looking forward to this album. Let's get to it. This is AHA, the second tune on their East of the Sun, West of the Moon album, 1990, and it's called Early Morning. Or maybe? Okay.
It definitely was more like middle of the night, um, you know, not light outside. Um, so maybe I'm just hearing that based on my own perceptions, which again, I've talked about it um, in a few reactions. I'm not sure if I've done it in AHA reactions, probably have, but um, again, you know, lyrics, they're always going to be filtered through the prism of the listener's brain, their experiences, their understandings, their impressions, um, the sort of the way they see the world. So um, I wonder if the way that I hear that tonally is more about the fact that I am in some sense a creature of the night. I'm not vampiric, but uh, yeah, I'm often up into the wee hours of the morning. Um, so yeah, the way my brain hears that is a kind of like a sort of mysterious and a bit um, mystical kind of nighttime feel. Um, but yeah, let me know if you disagree. Um, lyrically, I didn't hear as many of the lines as clearly in that one, um, so definitely got to give it some more listens. Um, I am intrigued by a couple of the phrases I heard, but I'm just not quite sure um, how it all pieces together, but do let me know if there's an angle on that. And again, when I do these reactions, I, I do go back and give multiple successive listens, you know, immersively with headphones and so on. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the tune. I will see you next time. Peace.